Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. This is Losing Hair Not Heart. I've got another wig for you today. I have another wig from Uniwigs. I know it's been a while, but here she is. Today we're gonna to be looking at this gorgeous medium brown auburn piece. So let's go ahead and get started so I can show you this beauty. So I'm not sure if this is the first video I'm posting in a while or if there's another one before that, but either way, I know it's been a while and I'm back to filming some wig stuff while I have some time on spring break. Life has just been absolutely insane with everything going on. So my presence on social media is definitely different, but today I'm here to show you guys this wig. And like I said, this wig right here is from Uniwigs. This particular one is called Leah. Now, Uniwigs did send me this wig. They have sent me wigs for a few years. I kind of took a break for a while, but they've sent me wigs to review and I always try to give my honest feedback. Some of them have features that I absolutely love and some of them have stuff that I would like tweaked, but I always just try to share them with you guys so you can make the best decision for whatever works for your head. One thing that's different about this package was that this one actually came with this little tool here, which I'm really obsessed with. So this part looks like what you'd use for your eyelashes, you know, this comb part here and then this brush. It looks like this on the bottom. It almost looks like a letter opener. The most used thing is to pull out this hair once you have the wig on to get a little bit of your temple hair to come out if you have hair in that area. And the other thing that that's great for is to use it to part your wig. If you wanna change the part in your wig, you know, you can just spray it with water and use this, and this can help you get the desired part line. Leah here is described as a 17 inch medium brown Remy human hair wig. And just from looking at it right here, you can see that this definitely has more of an auburn hue to it. And if you watched my reels on Instagram, it definitely was very auburn. So in the sun, it pulls auburn red. I'll go ahead and show you the inside of the cap before putting it on, but this one has that comfort cap. I like the comfort cap. I had Penelope, which had the comfort cap. The only difference with that one was that the lace was ear to ear. So the lace came all the way down here and there were adjustable straps at the bottom. This one has the comfort cap. You can see this fabric right here. I absolutely love it. But this one only has temple to temple lace. So the lace goes here to here as opposed to ear to ear. And the other thing that I don't think I've had on one of Uniwig's pieces is that this one doesn't have clips on the ear tab. So I think Penelope was like that. It does have this sort of silicone type band right there, the silicone tab, and it has a few of them around the head for security. So that is what it has in lieu of clips or combs at the back. You can see there's no comb or clip right here, and there's also no adjustable straps. So that is the other really important thing to mention before even putting it on is that this one does not have adjustable straps. Whoo! Here is Leah. I'm gonna pull her down a little bit. First off, you can see the color. This is a really gorgeous color. And I think for some women, they may have a shade of hair that is very similar to this. And I don't always see this color that much, but this one is gorgeous. The other thing I wanna note just by having it on is that it says it's 130% density. And that's like a decent density, but guys, this feels so light. The ends feel very thin. They don't feel heavy at all so i love like the length the 17 inch length on this one i like the color and i also love the density now i haven't styled this wig or put heat on it or done anything yet this is just what it looked like whenever it was in the box and i brushed it out so keep in mind that it would look even more beautiful once I actually style it. Uniwigs usually just has one size for their wigs and sometimes it's a small, sometimes it's a medium, sometimes it varies. This one, this com top comfort cap is listed as a small slash medium, but I will say that I am 21.5 inches and that's typically a medium across most brands. And this one fits well on me, but there's no way to tighten it because there were no adjusters. So if this stretches over time, there's no way for it to get smaller unless you wanted to wear a super tight weight grip underneath. So I don't think this one would be great if you have a smaller than a 21 inch head, maybe even a 21.25 inch head because there's no way to get it smaller. So I would say 
The smallest that I would recommend this wig is 21 inches. Let's move on to the hairline, the knots, and the part line because I know those are things that women really like to focus on or sometimes those are a deal breaker for you. So let's go ahead and zoom in and look at that. I pulled the wig down a little bit on my forehead and the first thing that I want to look at is the fact that the front hair right here is thinner. You can see how it's thinner and then it goes fuller and that is because they did a thinner hairline at the front. So if I pull both of these back right here, it's almost meant um, to be thinner, to be almost like baby hairs or baby bangs. So I think if you're wanting to have more of that type of a look, I would take these pieces right here and thin them out and make these super wispy and short to look more like baby hairs because that part does real look realistic. A lot of women, do you have really thin hair at the front and those wispy pieces that are more like baby hairs that kind of fray off a little bit. But on this particular one, if you just have it like that, you can see maybe that looks a little bit noticeable. And if I pull it back, that also looks a little bit noticeable. So I think it looks better with it pulled forward, but I would just take some of these pieces, those very front pieces like right there and cut them into shorter, wispier pieces so they really can look like baby hair. So not every woman is going to like that right there, but that is why I'm doing this video. That's why I'm doing it up close so you can decide what works for you. I'm just showing you that it does have some thinner pieces at the front and that is what that looks like there. And of course, this hairline came in the middle part. So if you change it or move it over, then it might look a little bit different or a little bit more filled in, but that's what we're working with right now. The part line, you can see right here, it definitely already looks kind of bright, but you could just put some scar tape underneath it if you wanted to make it even brighter. But the knots are not a problem for me at all on the part line. Knots on these are not bleached at all, but they are not as dark. They are definitely visible, so I'm saying that they're visible, but they're not as visible on the wigs that have like black hair because those knots are super dark. So you can see some of the knots here. And what I would recommend doing honestly is plucking some of these baby hairs to make it look even thinner. The other thing I wanted to mention is that the lace on this one has temple to temple lace. So if I pull this hair back, you can see that it stops from here to here as opposed to a lot of wigs which go maybe all the way down here they go more ear to ear or all the way ear to ear. So I wanna to be totally transparent with you guys. And I think that if you like to wear your hair back like this with no baby hairs down or anything, I don't think this wig is great for you because you can see some of the wefts right there. You can see that weft and this hair, we would have to pull it down to cover it. So if you like to wear your hair straight back in a headband or straight back, you run the risk of maybe seeing that weft right there as it meets that hairline. But if you like to have a little bit of hair down and maybe just have it back like this, like if you like having some bang pieces or you plan on cutting them shorter and pulling it back, it's not visible that way. You can see what I'm saying, it's covered more, but it's just if you like to have the hair straight back or in a headband, then I think you're gonna see where that weft meets that lace. I'm going to show you this wig in a couple different lighting. I'm in a darker part of the house and you can see that yes, it's medium brownish, but you still see that auburn undertone. So you can definitely tell that it's not just a regular medium brown. And here's more of an up close of that hairline of what it would look like when it's not around the sun. Right now I am standing in front of my porch and again, you can see that gorgeous shade. So absolutely love the color. Like I said, the color, the cap and the density and the light, the low density, absolutely love. I mentioned the price. This one is $698. That's what it retails for. I do have a code Sarah15 that gets you 15% off of that. If you're looking for something in this shade, it is around $600. 
that it fits a small slash medium closer to a medium, a little bit lower density, a very lightweight feeling, a super comfortable cap. And this wig could be a good fit for you, but if you're wanting an invisible hairline with no knots, if you're wanting a full hairline that doesn't have any thinness at the front, or one that has lace going all the way here, then this wig will not be for you. I wanna thank Uniwigs for sending this to me so I can review it. I'll be back with another video soon, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you are losing hair, I hope you don't lose heart and you have a blessed day. Bye.